We're interested in chronic pain. Chronic pain is an important problem because it afflicts millions of individuals worldwide, and specifically in the United States, approximately three out of 10 adults suffer from some type of chronic pain. The reason that this is important is because the treatment options that are available for chronic pain are not very good. P the, and the treatment options that are available are associated with some really undesirable side effects, like addiction and fatigue. So our approach to this problem, to study chronic pain, was to use a new type of omic profiling science called metabolomics. Most people are probably familiar with genomics and proteomics in which genes and proteins are profiled. In metabolomics, what we do is we look at and profile metabolites. Metabolites are the small molecules inside of cells that are actually transformed in the chemical reactions during metabolism. Our motivation for looking at metabolites as opposed to genes and proteins is because metabolites are directly involved in the chemical transformations, they ultimately provide a much better readout or an indication of what's going on with the cell with respect to phenotype or the actual function. What we did in this particular case to investigate chronic pain is we took tissues from animals that were suffering from chronic pain and we isolated the metabolites from these tissues. And then we analyze them using the system here, which is a LCMS system. What you can see here is the liquid chromatography, or HPLC system, in which the molecules, the metabolites, are separated. This is then interfaced with a mass spectrometer. This is known as a time of flight mass spectrometer, or a TOF, and you can see that the measurements are made using this long flight tube shown here. A mass spectrometer is the mechanism that we use to read out, or what we're actually measuring, is the masses of these metabolites. So by getting the masses of these metabolites, we can then correlate these masses to try and identify what these compounds are as amino acids or lipids or whatever the compounds may be. In the case of chronic pain, by using this technique, what we discovered was actually a new metabolite that had never been discovered before in any type of biological tissue. In this compound, which is a methylated version of sphingosphene, or a compound known as DMS, we discovered has shown new, offers new promising directions to go for treatment options for chronic pain. So it's a new metabolite, and by knowing that this new compound is involved in chronic pain, it's offering new opportunities for us to investigate for treatments. My name is Gary Patty, and I'm at the Scripps Research Institute, and I'm standing here in front of an Agilent QTOF, which is housed at the Scripps Center for Mass Spectrometry.